Hey guys, before this video begins, I just wanted to remind you guys that I will be doing a live stream of Pokemon Ultra Moon on Friday, which should be tomorrow when this video goes up. Um, it will be Friday morning, so make sure you guys keep an eye on my channel. I'll probably be streaming most of the day, if not all day. Um, so even if you're like at school or whatever, uh, you should be able to make it at least some point in the stream. So anyway, guys, enjoy the video. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we are having a Little Cup match against my girlfriend. And uh, this is probably going to be one of, if not the last, Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles on the channel. As you guys know, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is just around the corner, so we're going to be hopping into that. So, knowing that this is one of the last, if not the last, I kind of wanted to do something special, so I wanted to kind of go out with a bang. So, we are having a Little Cup match, which is always fun. I love Little Cup. I don't think I've done any Little Cup in Sun and Moon, so this <laughs> this is definitely going to be pretty exciting. Looking at my opponent's team, she's got the Houndour, Tentacool, Ghastly, Axu, Shroomish, and the Bronzor. While looking at my team, I've got a Bronzor of my own. We have the Chinchow, Timber, we have the Fungus, I almost called it a Moongus. Sometimes it's hard to remember the little guy's names. Uh, we have an Abra and a Growlithe, so I kind of build a team like around the Water, Fire, Grass core thing. Um, but anyway, this is a fun match, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Bronzor, as my opponent is going to lead off with her Houndour. So obviously this is bad news bears for me. I'm going to have to get the hell out of here because I am literally weak to both of this thing's typings. So I kind of figured my Growlithe was the best option here. Honestly, my team was kind of weak to this thing, really. I don't really have a solid switch into this thing. Um, maybe if my Chinchou was like a bulky set or something, but unfortunately, no. She's going to go for the Fire Blast. Unfortunately, I am not the Flash Fire Growlithe. I'm actually Intimidate, and I'm going to have to take that. It actually does pretty decent damage considering how bulky this thing is with with uh, Eviolite. So here, my opponent's going to switch out into the Tentacool. I actually predicted that and went for the Wild Charge. It's going to do a pretty solid dicking to this uh, Tentacool. But, <laughs> this being Little Cup, unfortunately for me, she's actually carrying the Berry Juice, which I thought was kind of odd. I thought this thing would carry Eviolite for sure, um, to make it like more of a special wall or something. But anyway, she's going to be back up to full health, which really, really sucks for me. So here, I'm just going to bring out my uh, Bronzor, because uh, I do pack the Psychic on this thing. Plus, uh, I'm pretty much able to get my Stealth Rocks up here. Um, she's going to have to swap because she really can't do anything to me. She's going to bring out her her own Bronzor. So uh, we're going to have a Bronzor v Bronzor showdown here. I'm actually going to get my rocks up here and then get the hell out because I literally can't touch this thing with my own Bronzor. And she can't really touch me. So she's actually going to go for her own rocks here. We're going to trade Stealth Rocks as I bring in my Growlithe once again. And uh, I really... <sighs> this was a really bad play for me. I kind of wish I went for the... Uh, morning Sun, but unfortunately I didn't. I actually go straight for the Flare Blitz here to try and get damage. But, of course, my opponent reads me like a damn book. She knows how I battle, and uh, she brings out her Houndour, and this thing does get Flash Fire. So, she's going to be immune to my Flare Blitz here, and now it's going to power up her Fire Attack. So now this Houndour is, like, really scary, because <laughs> I don't have a hell of a lot to deal with this thing. So I'm just going to have to get rid of my, uh, I'm just going to have to sack off my Growlithe here, unfortunately. And uh, here, <laughs> just bring out Mo Lester Jr., my boy uh, Timber here. And uh, she is going to be scared away by the fighting attack. So here, I kind of felt like a switch was imminent, so I just went for the knockoff. And uh, unfortunately for me, she brings out her tentacle, which lost its item earlier. The uh, berry juice that activated, so... Unfortunately, this knockoff is not going to do too much damage. It actually does decent damage, though. Not going to lie. Like, that's <laughs> that's pretty solid chip damage. The uh, <laughs> the damage rolls in Little Cut, man, are kind of insane. Um, here, I'm going to bring out my Wallaby Way Cindy <laughs> Chin Chow here. And my opponent's just going to go for the Scald. And, of course, because I'm Chad, she's going to burn me, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. Because we're only level 5, our HP is actually so low that the burn damage only does like 1 HP of damage. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Plus, I'm a special attacker, so the burn doesn't really bother me too much. So here, I kind of figured Shroomish was going to come in, so I actually went for the Ice Beam predicting that, and that is exactly what she does. So she's going to take some Stealth Rocks damage and this Ice Beam, and Shroomish has uh, definitely seen some better days here. And uh, she's actually going to swap out. She does not want to lose her Shroomish just yet. 
and uh, I'm just going to stay in here, go for another Ice Beam, as my opponent is going to bring out her Bronzor again. So I'm, this this fucking Bronzor, man, because I lost Gralis so early, this thing's actually going to be kind of a problem, just because it's so damn bulky, and uh, it gets access to Berry Juice plus, re plus Refresh. So this thing could definitely be an issue. I'm honestly thinking that she's probably rocking the same set I am. <laughs> and uh, here, I'm just going to bring out my own Bronzor. Honestly, because I didn't really want to swap in anything else. <laughs> um, so she's going to go for the Earthquake. My Levitate's going to activate. And uh, yeah, we're <laughs> having another Bronzor v Bronzor showdown here. Now here, I actually misclicked. Um, I meant to click Psychic just to get some chip damage. <laughs> and uh, I accidentally clicked Earthquake. She's going to Psychic me, though. And uh, she's going to get some chip damage off. Now here, my opponent swaps out into the Shroomish as I go for Psychic. And uh, unfortunately for me, even after the Stealth Rocks damage, this Psychic is not going to kill this thing. Bronzor has like the shittiest fucking special attack in the West. Um, so that's really fucking unfortunate. So here, she's actually going to go for the Synthesis. And that really sucks because now she's going to be at like around half. And uh, I, for whatever reason, I decided to stay in here and go for another Psychic. I don't know why the hell I did that. I should have just definitely swapped out. But it's whatever. I believe I swap out here. And uh, I'm going to bring out just the tip because I do have the uh, Sludge Bomb. I also packed the HP Fire as well. And uh, <laughs> I love this fucking thing. This uh, Fungus looks so funny <laughs> with his big ass lips. And uh, anyway, she's going to go for the Drain Punch here. So she's got that Fighting... Uh, actually, Shroomish is only Grass type. I was going to say Fighting Stab, but uh, I believe Shroomish is only Grass. I believe it becomes Grass Fighting when it evolves. But anyway, she's going to bring out her Bronzor now. And this thing's a pain in the ass, so she's going to bring that in on the Sludge Bomb. Obviously, being a Steel type, it's not going, going to affect it at all. She's going to go for the Psychic. I kind of figured with my Eevee Light, I should be able to eat that, and we do. I'm going to go for the Spore, <laughs> basically to try to keep this thing from uh, spamming, like, Recycle or whatever, to keep getting its Berry Juice and stuff. So here, I do pack the HP Fire. I believe I actually crit, and uh, it actually does a pretty solid dicking to this Bronzor. Not gonna lie, that's pretty <laughs> pretty damaged. And uh, yeah, that was a crit. And uh, here, I believe I just stay in and try to go for another HP fire. So here, her fucking berry juice is gonna activate. So now this damn thing's all the way back up to full health. So it's like that crit didn't even matter. I kind of figured she would probably bring in the Hound Door here. So I actually went for the Sludge Bomb. That was like a Hail Mary play. And uh, it actually worked out. She did bring in the Hound Door, and that is going to kill off the Hound Door. So that was honestly the play I needed because that Houndor was a damn threat <laughs> and uh, so that was a fantastic play if I do say so myself and uh, here she's gonna bring out the Ghastly I'm gonna swap out get some regenerator health back and uh, I'm gonna bring out my boy Bronzor again because I do pack the Psychic and uh, yeah honestly actually no I think I brought it in just to die because I kind of figured she would just go for the uh, Shadow Ball and kill me yeah yeah I was just trying to sack it off not not trying to go for Psychic. <laughs> um, so here, I'm just going to bring out Sydney again. And uh, I do pack the uh, Hydro Pump. Jesus, I <laughs> like brain farted. But I actually kind of thought that a Volt Switch would kill this thing. Um, so I didn't go for Hydro Pump. And I'm kicking myself for not going for it. Or hell, even a Thunderbolt would have killed that thing. Um, so I'm kicking myself for that. So unfortunately, I'm going to bring out my uh, my Fungus again, which kind of kind of blows. And uh, I'm going to have to take a freaking Shadow Ball <laughs> because of that. But uh, thankfully for me, the Eevee Light is going to allow me to eat that. And I'm actually going to have to swap out again because I kind of need my Fungus around for that damn Bronzor because it's so damn bulky. And uh, it's the only thing I really have that can hurt the thing, really. Um, so I'm going to bring out Sydney once again. As my opponent kind of chokes there, she probably would have been better off going for another Shadow Ball. She actually goes for the Destiny Bond which uh, I believe Shadow Ball would have killed me, so that was a little bit of a choke on my opponent's part, not going to lie. But she's going to swap out. She doesn't want to lose her Ghastly. She knows I'm Scarfed, and uh, she brings out this damn Bronzor again. I believe I go for the Volt Switch once again here. Yeah, so Volt Switch does pretty solid damage. Um, I, I believe it's at the point where a Hydro Pump would kill this thing, so I'm going to keep my uh, Sydney in the back and uh, bring out my Timber once again, Molester Jr. here. I love this thing, and uh, I'm just going to go for the knockoff, and again, because it used its item earlier, knockoff is not going to be able to kill this damn thing. 
it's really unfortunate. I just went for it because it was super effective. And uh, at least this thing stays asleep. I know this thing gets psychic because obviously mine has it, but I kind of was playing with hacks there and uh, it worked out in my favor. So this, excuse me, this damn Bronzor is finally dead. The thing was so bulky. Ugh. And uh, my opponent's going to bring out the Tentacle now. Man, this battle is long as hell. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so I'm going to swap out into Sydney because I know I could take like a Scald or pretty much whatever this thing wanted to go for. I believe she actually just goes for the Rapid Spin though, and uh, that's going to get rid of my rocks, which kind of blows, because the rocks were nice because it broke Sashes and stuff, like her Ghastly and stuff. But uh, I'm actually going to live the burn with 2 HP. Like I said before, the HP is so low at level 5, the burn damage only does like 1 damage. And uh, here I'm just going to go for the T-Bolt and finally kill off this Tentacool, and I believe my opponent only has like 2 or 3 mons left, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so here she's going to bring out the Axu, and this thing hasn't even come out yet, but this thing is a major, major threat. So here, I know I'm going to die uh, to the burn or to the stealth rock, so I just decide to stay in, go for the uh, Thunderbolt here, as my opponent is going to go for a Dragon Dance. So I'm going to die here, and I'm going to bring out my uh, Timber once again, because I kind of figured it's the bulkiest thing on my team, or at least... It's the bulkiest thing that's left on my team because uh, I lost my Growlithe earlier in the battle. And uh, I pretty much was putting all my faith in Timber here, but my boy Molester comes through every fucking time. She goes for Outrage, which is stab plus one, guys. I don't even have defense investment on this thing, but I live on two fucking HP. I go for the Drain Punch. It's going to put her low enough to where I can kill this thing with a damn mock Punch. I was honestly not expecting the mock Punch to kill, but my boy Mo Lester comes through every fucking time I use this damn thing, and that is a dead Axew. Thank God, that thing was scary as all hell. <laughs> so now she's going to bring out the Ghastly, and uh, I believe I swap out into... Is it Fungus? I can't remember. Yeah, so I'm going to bring out just the tip. <laughs> I make my own damn self laugh with these stupid ass nicknames and uh, she's gonna go for the shadow ball here that's going to kill just the tip unfortunately but that is totally fine because now she's gonna kill herself to her own life orb recoil and uh, I believe she or no sorry she lives one more turn sorry now I'm gonna bring out wet dreams now I battled Hayden a long time ago and he actually used ghastly with uh, sucker punch so I actually decided to go for the sub because I know this thing's going to kill itself to its own life orb recoil. And uh, so she doesn't have Sucker Punch. Um, I just didn't want to go for Psychic and then get Sucker Punch because it would have killed me. Um, so I set up the sub there just to be safe. And uh, she's gonna, she's now going to kill herself to her own life orb. And uh, she only has one mon left. It's a Shroomish. And uh, it's below half plus... Or no, sorry. She got rid of rocks. But uh, yeah, she's not going to be able to live a Psychic. And that is game, good game, Bay, and uh, we'll definitely battle again. I'm so excited for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, guys. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited for Friday, but uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Peace out.